What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World, and I just want to update you on a few things. The number one thing is that Night Train Lane, the, uh, the games that we're going to need to um, to get him is done. All right, so we got the 50 online games. That's pretty much what it is. Um, everything else that's left uh, pretty much is this. We need five days, well, four days after this video, and we need 10 passing touchdowns, which is nothing. I will tell you this, man. It was a very, very... Um, the truth about it is, like, the March 19th update destroyed the gameplay even worse than it was prior. So, for everybody that doesn't understand, like, the, the way that the, every year for the last three years, let me just give you guys a little background to it. First, let's, let's check out some of the things while I talk to you about that. Um, over the last couple of years, right, every time that EA releases a patch, they destroy the gameplay more and more. So, what happens is you have to make a choice. You have to decide whether you're willing to deal with it. Or you're just going to, you know what I'm saying? You're going to give it up. Now, a lot of players have given up Madden. And people have given up Madden earlier and earlier um, as the years go by. And it's starting to get really, really bad. And, um, you know, primarily it's because the same patch notes that they use, it's very, very similar to what it was uh, in Madden 16 um, when they first patched the game. Let me do it. I'm going to do a token, uh, team token. Let me see what's going on. Get some of these silver tokens out of here. I don't know. Hold up. Why do I have so many items? I got so many things going on. I don't even, I got to clear my binder up. If I cleared my binder out, I'd probably have like 10 million coins, bro. Like, seriously, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, yeah, so it was very, very wild for me to go through the stuff that I was going like that I was going through because you play a lot of people that think that they're good and they go wild and they're savage. Most of them are like two years old. And um, they come out, they do the most ridiculous things, and they do it over and over again, and there's nothing you can do about it. And a lot of you guys that are new to the channel are like, wow, man, I thought I was the only guy that was going through that. No, it's, it's, it's not that. It's the fact that most people are not going to tell you the truth. But I'm going to tell you the truth. Like, if the game when the game was released, the game was fine. I played the game straight for like like eight, nine hours, bro. I haven't done that with Madden for a long time. So, you know, that, that, that lets you know. Because coming off of 17, I was a wild savage. Like, the game was just unbelievably trash. And it was just, it was too much. And it wouldn't stop. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like somebody that keeps nagging you. And they just won't stop. That's how it was for me, bro. Like, it, like the game was just so garbage. And it was just like, yo, how are they getting away with this? You know what I'm saying? Like, like what are they doing to be able to get away with this? And um, it was very interesting. It was very, very interesting that all these things were happening and everybody was ignoring it. So you would think that uh, going forward that, you know, they, they would be able to, you know, fix the situation. Go ahead and, um, you know, the, the, the main things. Like I said, I'm going to break it down for you guys because you know what it is? Because I stream most of the time, it's very hard for me to show you piece by piece. But a lot of you guys that watch my stuff, you guys clip it, and that kind of, that helps a lot because it makes everyone see exactly what's going on. You know, I'm gonna do this boss battle. Hold up, what was this? What was the first one that I did for the boss battle? Rush for a touchdown from 20 yards out. Um, see, the thing about this one is that it's sim. Pass for a touchdown on the first play. Pass for 75 yards a half. Yeah, okay, we, we're gonna. It's sim though, so I might screw it up a couple times, but whatever. We're, we're just we're just talking about what's going on. Then, uh, as far as like you know, the actual patch ruining the game again for the, the March nineteenth patch. All right, so look, pretty much what happened is this, right? Before the patch, you had specific defenses that would stop C routes, right? Now you could still st uh, stop C routes by running cloud flats. You know, baseline is broken. Sometimes it works if you baseline a cloud flat, whatever. But for the most part. Everybody is acting like it's a new thing that a soft squat turns to man coverage on one side. You know what I'm saying? But now also the, the um the cloud flat does the same thing. See the soft squat, you you would leave that coverage like last year it was like a glitch. Like if it was one on one, it would turn to man and run away, run all the way up the field with them and stuff like that. But if you if you're playing against somebody and they keep their player one on one on one side in a soft squat, that will turn to man coverage for that C route. And therefore, the C route is supposed to beat man coverage. So it happens. That's not what the issue is. The issue is this. The cloud flats also now do the same thing. Now, we're going to have these Madden guys that's going to be like, yeah, but that's always happened. No, it's not, it, it didn't. That, see, this is what I'm saying. This is why I don't really respond to a lot of people. Because a lot of the stuff that goes on with Madden, I understand it and I know what they're doing. And EA knows what they're doing too. See, that's the interesting part about it. EA knows exactly what they're doing. And they know exactly what is ruining the game, but that keeps it consistent with what is selling for them. Because if if one if a one year old can blow me up by ninety, that increases the amount of people that's going to actually be actively playing the game. So that helps them out a lot. 
You know what I'm saying? So when we're doing all this stuff, like I told you, this night train lane thing, getting those 50 wins. Let me just tell you this right now. I, if you look at the way that I was playing earlier, I didn't lose a lot of games. Every time a patch comes out, I have to adjust the way that I'm playing because they ruin the it's not they're, they're not making the game better is what I'm trying to say. And a lot of you guys know that it's the honest truth, but you'll lie about it and you'll make excuses and stuff like that. And that's fine, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to change your opinion. I'm just letting you guys understand that similar to what they did with like the, uh, the zone threshold earlier in the year. You remember what they did with that? It shouldn't ma like, look, I understand you got to have a certain type of zone, right? You got to have a certain type of zone to play coverage, whatever like that. But to make the meta a certain amount, is kind of stupid because people have their strengths and their weaknesses. And what happens is, look, this this is what happens, right? Depending on the coverage you pick, realistically, there are weaker players in the league, right? Because if, if, people be like, yeah, they're trying to make the game realistic. If you help out that player, it should it should have a different determining factor. What happens is the animation takes over regardless. The animation that the guy's going to get. I lost the game because I played a cloud flat in a C route. And the guy caught the ball, and the animation was him catching it and punching me in the face. You see what I'm saying? But he was playing it. But the animation took over. So it's certain things that you just can't fight when it comes to EA Sports, and it is what it is. So I'm just letting you guys understand that. So as we go forward, it's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you guys don't think like, oh, yeah, bro, this guy, you know, whatever. No, I'm not doing it. What, what is he doing? What, what was that guy just doing right there? How did he just move like that in that zone? That was weird. What was that simulation? Yeah, that's the reason that I hate it. I'm going to try to do, do my two games so I get my daily objective and then I can just, you know, get away from the game for a little bit. But overall, the patch has really, really hurt the game more than helped it. And like I said, most of us are used to it because they've been doing it for so long. Did he catch it? In, in, he didn't catch it in bounds? Wow. Wow, that guy's an idiot. He really didn't catch it in bounds, though. Wow, okay. Yo, like, bro, good stuff. Uh, but what I am going to do, I'm going to be experimenting with Draft Champs again because the patch was intended to stop the Hail Mary glitch. That's all it was supposed to do. But it, it started to affect so many other things now. It's really, really stupid. It's re What is he doing? What are they doing? Why are they just running around and doing that? I don't know what's going on right now. Why, bro, why is... He, he didn't even try to intercept the ball. He just The computer just having him run around in that area. I, I have no idea what's going on with this game, man. I just don't know... I'm really, really happy that EA has found a way to just destroy people's lives while patch just simply patching a game. Like it, it's it's fascinating to me. All right. Oh yeah. He, oh whoa whoa whoa. He threw yo, he threw that right to high tower. He threw that right to high tower. You see what I'm saying? Like I can't, if it was arcade mode, I could just throw the ball like right into like quadruple coverage like Madden 16 and 17. But fortunately for me, you can't. Um, so I'm just trying to, bro. Look, th this is what I usually do. I just run like a post route when it's like 15 yards away, and I try to get him in there. But with the way that they're doing it right now, I might have to. Uh, let me try it again real quick. Hold on, let me try it again. He dropped it. Okay, he dropped it. Okay, good, good, good. Well, that's that's the Sean Jackson. He's garbage anyway. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he's gonna drop the ball more than anybody else in the game. But it doesn't really matter about that. That's not what this is about. Um, that's why I didn't want to. Yo, I guys, when you're trying to do these um the solos to get things. Don't do simulation. Just don't just don't do it, because all it's gonna do is make your heart stop. He dropped it again. Bro, it's gonna make your heart stop. I got I gotta I gotta get a new wide receiver. But every but all of them are gonna drop the ball though. Like every single one of them. That's been the biggest issue uh, with the game all year. And instead of EA trying to fix that, they're more they're more concerned with adding fake coaches into the game. Like you ever run into a game and then they they're using one of these pro players as a coach and it's just like Bro, your game sucks, and this is what you guys are doing? Your game sucks, but he, he got a bounce? All right, good. Your game sucks, but you're adding fake coaches. Like, e, EA's, EA really knows how to make you just so angry. They, they know how to do it, bro. I promise you they do. Because, like, this game sucks so bad, and they, you're like, you know what? Let's add fake coaches in. You know what? Let's patch the game, but really ruin it. Like, what are, what are they doing? I, I'm, I'm, I'm just fascinated, guys. That's pretty much where I am with it. I'm fascinated, but... Again, that's going to be another daily objective right there. And um, so we should be four days. We should be four days away from getting Night Train. Now, after I get Night Train, I already told you guys, I don't know if I'm going to continue to play Mutt head to head because it's really probably not the best thing for my health. So I'll just let you guys see right now. Um, 
Okay, so we're four days away from that, and then we should need eight more touchdowns, right? So that's not really a big deal, all right? So once I get him, um, maybe if you guys want to see how he works, le leave it in the comments because I'll do that for you guys. I'll play a couple games head-to-head, -head, let you guys see how he is, if you should sell him, you know, whatever I should do with him. I'm probably going to go, I guess, go read and react. I don't know. You guys let me know because the read and react add in the zone probably is better or whatever, but I'm not really interested in it because the gameplay sucks, and I don't know if they're going to patch it again to make it worse. So I have to figure that part out, and we'll see how we go from there. But there is no zone meta anymore. Like, obviously, you got to be in the 90s, but it doesn't really matter. They don't play defense on certain routes, the out routes, the C routes, the things that used to work before, do, do, that, bruh, they do not work anymore. All right, so let's just get that clear. Um, but that's pretty much it, man. This, that's what the, um, the title update did. I gave you the update about Night Train Lane. Um, let me guys, let me know what you guys want to see, you know, going forward with Madden. We're just trying to get this stuff, you know, keep it consistent, upload and let you guys know what's going on up to date. If you guys got the Barry Sanders and you like him, let me know also, or the Rod Woodson, but I'm, I'm just being honest with you guys. It doesn't really matter. The cards are cards and it is what it is after a certain threshold. All right. So let's go ahead with a video view goal of 50 K. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time, man. Night trade lane in four days. We're signing out. G Myers world. One love.